Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through all of the bags that I use for work. Angelica. I've got a pretty healthy work bag collection and I've got seven bags here to walk you through and compare. And they cover off a variety of dress codes from the really dressy all the way to relaxed, depending on the vibe that you're going for, as well as how you commute to and from the office. So on one end of the spectrum, I've got your high end designer bag. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we've got a comfortable backpack. Now I'm obviously going to be focusing on the bags that I use when I'm schlepping to and from the office because when I'm working from home, I use these guys to transport my things from room to room. I need to make a tea and the kettle is downstairs. In terms of what I do for work, I work as a lawyer. I have spent the majority of my career in private practice where I was dressing very fancy schmancy, but nowadays I work as in-house counsel and the vibe in the office is much more relaxed due to a number of factors, but mainly due to COVID putting a spanner in the works and making it less relevant to get all dressed up for work, at least in my office anyway. I'm going to be covering off a heap of things in this video. I am going to share with you the features and the functionality of each bag. I'm going to weigh each of my bags. I'm going to share with you what fits inside and while I tell my children that I don't play favourites, I'm going to share with you my top three bags. But don't go telling your brothers and sisters I'm going to block your ears, Gerald. And before I kick things off, if you haven't already, then I would love it if you subscribed to my channel and supported what I do here. It really does help with small and tiny channels like mine. And I have a feeling that if you like this video, then you'll like other videos on my channel too. So let's get started. So let's go in ascending order from the lowest priced bag to the highest priced bag. And these are the bags that I'm going to be talking you through and comparing in this video. First up, the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. And this one retails for 239 Australian dollars. Next up, we have the Everlane Studio Bag. And I have this one in two colors. I've got it in a beige color as well as an olive tone. This one retails for 225 US dollars. It's 383 Australian dollars. The exchange rate isn't too bad. Next up, we have the Tory Birch Perry Tote. This one retails for 448 US dollars and it sells for anywhere between 550 to about 700 Australian dollars, depending on what funky foreign exchange dance is happening, depending on where you buy it from, Nordstrom or Shopbop or Farfetch, they all have different prices, which is very helpful. Sitting in the middle of the price scale of my bag collection is the Senrev Maestra bag. And I have this in the mini size. This one retails for 695 US dollars and roughly 900 to 1000 Australian dollars. Now we're well and truly in luxury land now. And the next bag is my Celine Small Carvest Tote. This one retails for 1,850 US dollars and 2,750 Australian dollars. $200 price increase from when I bought it earlier this year. Moving things right along and we have my Celine So Sangle bag. This one retails for $2,550 US dollars and $3,700 Australian dollars. Now I bought this one secondhand for roughly $1,800 but I've put it here on the price scale because this is how much it retails new. And lucky last we have my Celine belt bag. This one retails for $2,700 US dollars and $3,850 Australian dollars. It was a nice little roll call there. So let's talk through the features and the functionality of each bag and I'm going to keep things consistent and just stick with the ascending price order as I did when I introduced the bags. And so let's kick things off with the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. Now this is called a tote pack because, five points if you can guess, it can be worn as both a tote and as a backpack. Now this is the bag that I've been using a lot lately, particularly while I'm trying to be healthy Virginia and I'm walking into work or partially walking into the office because I have to hop on a train halfway through the journey because I run out of time. But this bag is incredibly functional. Now I predominantly use this as a backpack and the straps are very comfortable, but it's very convenient to have it as a tote as well, particularly when I'm on a crowded train and I don't really wanna whack anyone with the bag on my back. Inside it is very compartmentalized. It fits a 15 inch laptop in the padded section and there are a heap of compartments for you know water bottles there's a mesh compartment there 
for all of your small things. It goes quite deep as well. And I have to make a note not to overpack this bag because I get a little bit excited when a bag has a lot of capacity. It also has these front pouches here that are very functional, you know, for face mask, keys, wallet. And when you don't want the backpack straps to be visible, then you can just unclip them and then you can actually tuck them in and hide them away if you are trying to look smarter. I did a lot of research before buying this bag and this bag ticked a lot of boxes with all of the things that I was looking for. I was a little bit apprehensive before receiving this bag because I had really only seen reviews of the bag from men that were very tall. So I was a bit worried that the bag would be a bit too oversized on me, but I'm really quite happy with it. And so it looks good on a six foot two man as well as a five foot two woman. And so on behalf of trying to be more healthy and walk into work, Virginia, I thank you. Next up, let me talk you through my Everlane Studio bag. This is the one that I have in two colors. So it's a very simple roomy bucket style bag with an external pocket and internally it's one large pocket and then there is a side pocket with a zip for your card holder or your wallet or your phone. But I mainly use the external pocket to chuck my phone and my wallet in just for easy access. So in terms of capacity, it packs a punch it can easily fit a 13 inch laptop, as well as all the things that I need for the day, you know, my lunch, a scarf, my makeup pouch, all of those things. The bag is incredibly comfortable to wear as well. And what initially drew me to this bag is how similar it looks to the Celine So Sangle bag. It's got that same bucket shape and that same thick shoulder strap. The shoulder strap on the studio bag can actually be adjusted unlike the shoulder strap on the Celine So Sangle bag. That's a fabric shoulder strap. This is a leather shoulder strap and I have adjusted it to the shortest length because I'm a shorty. That's absolutely true. But I found that to be really useful. My mum has this bag. She's got it in the olive color and it has been her day-to-day -day bag for the past couple of years. But the bag has been an excellent work bag. It constantly gets re-released in new colors, all very nice, easy to match neutral tones. And it is excellent quality for the price. Next up we have the Tory Burch Peri Tote and this is a bag that I've had now for over three years and believe it or not it was the very first tote bag that I'd ever bought. It was very late to the tote party but my goodness did I hit a home run with this tote bag. So before I added this bag to my collection I was mainly using top handle bags or shoulder bags because I wasn't really carting a laptop. I had my PC already in my office but then I started a new job and I had a laptop with me that I was taking with me to and from. So I needed a bag that could fit a laptop comfortably but I also wanted a bag that looked really beautiful. I did a lot of research and the Tory Burch Perry Tote just kept coming out on top in all of my pro con lists because I am one of those nerds who writes pro on this before buying bags but this is the new version of the peri tote initially when the bag was released it was just the one compartment but now this is the triple compartment peri tote and so the middle compartment is a zip which fits a 13 inch laptop by the way and then it is compartmentalized with two side pockets now it's worthwhile me noting that all of the Tory Burch peri totes come with a contrasting leather logo tab I think that's what you call it but it usually sits on one of the bag straps like that as a little point of interest or something along those lines. I'm not a huge fan of red and I find that it clashes with a lot of the outfits that I wear and so I took that off as soon as I got it and it just lives in the zipped compartment section of the bag and I really quite like how minimal it looks without the contrast leather tab. I think with a lot of the new season colours, particularly with this light umber which is still available, it now comes with a light blue or a torpy coloured leather tab which I would be quite happy to keep on the bag. Price wise this is a contemporary label and so it sits at around the mid range but I think for the quality of the leather and for the price of the bag this is well worth the investment. At the time I was shopping for totes, a few totes were in contention in including the Saint Laurent tote, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but I'm really pleased that I opted for the Tory Burch Perry tote because I haven't been disappointed because not only is it half the price of the other bags that I was considering, but I think that the quality of the bag and the material that is used is just far superior to the others and I've had zero regrets. This is really a great bag.
moving along now and we've got the Senrev Maestro bag and this was a bag that was really hyped up as the ultimate bag for working women. I think that definitely rings true if you get the original Maestro size. So I have the mini version. So it goes mini, which is the smallest one available, midi and then the original size and the original size can hold up to a 15 inch laptop whereas the mini size can hold my iPad but it can't hold my laptop so I think that's worthwhile noting. The reason why I didn't go for the original size is because I thought that it would overwhelm my frame. I'd seen a lot of photos of a lot of petite women wearing the original size Maestra and I thought that it was just a little bit too big. This is a bag that I use when I am either carrying my laptop separately in my hands or I don't have to carry my laptop with me that day and I will carry my iPad in my bag. It fits quite neatly in this bag. Now I've gone into an in-depth review of this bag and also of my other Senrev bags in a separate video and so I will link that so that you can watch if you are more interested in this bag. I do have a discount link as well where you can get $50 off any Senrev bag I believe. I'll put that down below but in terms of functionality this bag is very good because it is compartmentalized to the nines really. They've put a lot of thought into what women want out of their bags and how women use their bags. I think one of the main criticisms that I drew of this bag is the fact that it is very stiff but that just comes down to the really robust and durable leather that they use. And I have this in the pebbled leather. And so I think that if you are looking to get one of the Senrev bags, I would highly recommend that you go for the Dolce leather, which is their really soft, buttery, pebbly leather, but it's still got that durability to it as well. That would be my hot tip. And that is something that I wish that I chose in hindsight. But for a bag where you aren't carrying much with you or you can carry your laptop separately, then this is certainly a good candidate. It's a little bit of an investment because it is an Italian made bag and I think that amongst all the bags that I have in my rotation this isn't one that I reach for as often as the others but it is one that I still use for work. Moving along and we have my Celine Small Carbis Tote. Ah, it's so messy! I just came back from an interstate trip and I have all of the things in the bag. All the face masks from the plane, all my pens. I'm just chucking all the stuff out of the bag. Okay, clean and tidy. This is how it looks inside and I am currently using a bag liner with it and so I will show you what it looks like without the bag liner. It is really quite a soft bag. It's just the one big compartment, the one internal flat pocket with the zip. I talk about this in quite a bit of detail in my dedicated Celine Carbis Tote review video, but I really like using this day to day with a bag liner, which also keeps the shape of the bag. And I find it just keeps all of my belongings nice and tidy and compartmentalized. This is the newest bag in my collection, another tote bag for me to rotate between a cool toned one in comparison to the warm toned Tory Birch bag. I think that it is an incredibly beautiful looking bag but also very functional. It fits a 13 inch laptop easily as well as the other things that I need with me during the day. I think when I bought this a few months ago it was 2550 Australian dollars and it's now gone up in price. I think that a lot of things are going up in price at the moment and so I shouldn't be surprised that this has increased but I am. A question that I get quite a bit with this bag is when you overpack it, is it really heavy and can the bag withstand that weight? The answer to that is that I try not to push it with this bag. I think a laptop, my coffee cup and all of the things that I need with me during the day, um, the bag certainly can withstand that weight, but I wouldn't, you know, go about overpacking this bag. I don't want to misshape the bag because it really is a soft leather and the straps, while they're quite strong, they're not heavy duty and so I don't want to push it. Initially when I was hunting for the bag as well, I thought that I would go for the medium size because I wanted a bag that could easily fit a laptop but lo and behold the small size could fit a laptop quite easily. When I am using the bag liner the laptop doesn't fit in horizontally. I have to put the laptop in vertically which means it does stick out slightly at the top. That's not something that I'm too fussed with because it sits neatly under my shoulder but I've had a few questions about that too. How do I manage that and I just have it stick out a little bit which I'll show you in the cutaways. When I was trying out the bag in store I wasn't trying it out with a bag liner. The bag liner is something that I bought some months later and so it fits a laptop really easily just placed horizontally in the bag but doesn't fit 
with the liner. I'll link the bag liner that I use as well. I get them from Etsy and they are very reasonably priced considering a lot of these bag liners can retail for around $100 but the one that I use is around half that price. Um, so I'm really pleased with this one. This is a bag that I certainly see myself rotating and wearing for many years to come. Not only is it a trusty work bag but it's also a great off-duty bag for me as well. Celine So Sangle bag and this is a bag that I was lucky enough to get secondhand. The So Sangle bag is just a large bucket bag and at the moment I've got my bag liner in there and tissue paper just to keep its shape but I'll just take it out. If you haven't gathered already then I really like using bag liners particularly with all of my designer bags so yeah that's my tissue paper and <laughs> my bag liner but the bag itself is just one large compartment as you can see. There's an internal flat pocket with a zipper where you, if you don't want to use a bag liner then you can just use it like that and it's got four external pockets just on each side. Frequently asked questions that I get with this bag are is it heavy and is it comfortable to wear? In terms of the weight I don't find it an issue. I think that because the bag is so large it just swallows up my 13 inch laptop and so there is a lot of room in the bag to pack other things in there and it's one of those bags that I have to take note not to get too excited about the capacity and pack a heap of stuff in because it can get very heavy but I think for the day to day stuff that I use for work no the bag isn't too weighty for my use it's similar to the other bags that I use. In terms of the wool strap I find this quite comfortable because it's quite thick. The wool strap is something that I find quite a unique feature I don't have any other bag with a wool strap. This bag is one that has given me a lot of joy and that I have really enjoyed wearing. I think that it is aesthetically a beautiful bag with a really simple minimal design. I love that the logo is not loud and garish and it's just a very subtle bag. Last but not least, we have my Celine mini belt bag, which is, in my opinion, the most beautiful bag that I have in my collection. I have it in the classic black color because I like how it can be a chameleon and it can straddle both work and off-duty outfits. The bag design itself is quite simple. This is how it looks inside with the bag liner that I use. I also have a separate review video of this bag as well on my channel, which I will link in case you wanted to have a watch. I'll just take out the liner. This is what it looks like without the liner. There is an internal flat pocket with two slip pockets there. Um, it does fit quite a bit but it's not tall enough to fit a laptop but it easily fits an iPad, an iPad Pro if that's something that you take with you. I think that if a laptop is part of the equation when it comes to what you need to take with you to work then this bag is not as functional. Personally for me there is a place for this in my wardrobe because sometimes I do need to get dressed up and when I'm not taking this for work I do also use this off duty as well. in detail about each of these bags if I were to pick a top three out of all the bags in my collection sitting at number one without a doubt would be the Tory Burch Peritote. I think for the price that you pay the quality of the leather is incredible and it is a beautifully functional bag as well and so that is one that I have recommended to many people. Coming in at number two it would be the Celine Small Carbis Tote because I like the look of it. It's really quite feminine and dainty, but it also, again, is a really functional bag. And coming in at number three is probably the more practical choice, which is my Bellroy Tote Pack, because I'm currently in healthy Virginia mode and schlepping into the office on foot, well, partially on foot when I'm running a bit late and have to get to the train halfway through, but I really am enjoying the backpack. I love all the compartments. It's very comfortable to wear and it's a very tidy bag. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this work bag comparison video to be helpful, particularly if you are on the lookout for another work bag. If you liked this video, then let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.